No. Oh. No. What? Feels like I've been asleep for five years. And where am I? Somebody's closet? Oh well. Guess it's time for another one. Dear Sleaze King, I found this movie at the city dump when I was looking for old Disney movies. I hope it completes your collection and isn't just a piece of junk. Sincerely, Skeeter! Well, thanks, Skeeter. Huh. Wonder what it is. Probably Aladdin or Lion King or something. What? The intro is done by the man himself, the great-grandfather, the godfather of gore, Herschel Gordon Lewis. This book is called The Amazing Herschel Gordon Lewis and His World of Exploitation Films. I guess I am the amazing Herschel Gordon Lewis. What can I say? It's incredible to hear him talk about his films like Blood Feast and introduce the director of Dr. Gore. J.G. Patterson. Gore in motion pictures was something that didn't exist before I came along. As the film begins, you get to hear the theme, which is an eerie version of a few of my favorite things. The basic story behind this movie is there's this scientist that loses his wife so he digs her up and then goes around killing women, taking their parts in an attempt to bring his wife back to life. And he's got his hunchback assistant there, so it's basically like Frankenstein. And it's the basic idea behind, if you've ever seen the movie Frankenhooker, it's just like that. It really does remind me a lot of Frankenstein. It's got a lot of that cheesy laboratory stuff going on. The gore is very entertaining too. It's not the most realistic thing and I won't show it here in case anyone's got a problem with it, but if you're anything like me, you love that gore, you'll have a good time with this one. This was very much an unknown classic to me. I felt like I was digging through the sands of time to find a gem I never knew existed. The ending was a bit confusing. It kind of reminded me a little bit of the ending of Wizard of Gore. Basically, the hunchback dies, the scientist gets locked up forever, and his Frankenstein woman goes off with some guy in a truck. I don't know. I don't really get what he's trying to say with all that. Wow, that was really a sleazy pick flick. Thank you, Skeeter, wherever you are. I wonder what he's up to right now. <laughs> wow. This is a big gulp, all right. I wonder if I can finish it in just one slurp. Nope. Couldn't do it. Well, what's next? <laughs> It's our Teespring store and it's got all of our merch ready to be sold. So please check out the Super Hive store.